Welcome back to the channel. It's a special day today. It's 6-4 day. Let's go! Congratulations to Odin Driven. You're the winner of the Red Eye Hellcat RC giveaway. Send me an email over to mydestroyer at gmail.com with your address, and I'll go ahead and send this bad boy to you. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate your support. Congratulations. Welcome back to the channel. So what is 6-4 Day? Well, it's where people like myself celebrate this mighty little naturally aspirated motor. It's 485 horsepower and 475 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, bring a smile to your face every time you touch the gas pedal, trust me. Uh, if you've not ridden in one or haven't, don't own one, I suggest you go test drive it and see what you think. Uh, I want to go ahead and get into a little bit of the history of the 6.4 liter or 392. Stay tuned. The modern 6.4 Hemi is uh, quite a bit different from its original uh, design which in 1957 Chrysler introduced the 6.4 liter or 392 Hemi engine. Uh, the displacement of the original Hemi was 392.67 cubic inches. The deck height was at 10.87 and was a half inch taller than the previous blocks making it quite torquey and quite powerful for 1957. Powered by SRT means that the engine was specifically designed by Dodger's street and racing team. The 6.4 liter is the size of the engine's displacement. Most people think of engine displacement as the size of the car's engine, but really it's the volume of the vehicle's cylinders or the volume of air displaced by the action of the pistons. More cylinder volume means you have more room for air and more air makes bigger combustions, and bigger combustions create more power. The 6.4 liter engine is equivalent to 392 cubic inches because both measurements are different units of expressing engine displacement. To determine an engine displacement, the number of cylinders and the size of the bore and stroke of the cylinders must be known. The bore and stroke of the Dodge 6.4 liter engine is 4.09 inches bore and 3.72 inches stroke. This makes the bore and stroke of the engine nearly 1 to 1 to 1. The 6.4 liter SRT engine has a compression ratio of 10.9 to 1, which is significantly higher than the 3.6 or 5.7 liter Hemi engines. Before I go any further, I just wanted to discuss the 1320. It's a little bit of a I don't know, a uh, blender of the different divisions of Mopar. So the 1320 is a scat pack RT with an SRT engine. That is a lot different than most other vehicles that are built. You normally have an SRT powered by an SRT or you have uh, a standard 5.7 you can get in the older Scat Pack RTs. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different combos as you guys know for engines and for trim packages so just wanted to make sure I clear that up because I know SRT fans will be like well that's not an SRT. I understand but it is powered by SRT but this also has some demon nuggets sprinkled up in there too. So yeah this is a definitely a unique situation with uh, us 1320 owners. So just wanted to make a point of that before anybody starts popping off down below in the comments. So get out there, take that there 6.4, go rip that thing. It's 6.4 day, get off your butts. Remember, don't let your meats loaf. See you next time guys, thanks for watching.